Junk food. Oh, it can be so delicious. Maybe even too delicious. Today, we're gonna try and answer this once and for all. Is fast food bad for you? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. We've all been there. You grab a bag of your favorite snack and you start chomping them down. You chomp and you chomp and you chomp again and suddenly, what? The bag is empty? What gives? As it turns out, junk food can be so completely addictive because, well, it was designed that way. That's right, food companies use some pretty sophisticated science-based techniques to keep us chowing down. All junk foods are trying to hit what they call the bliss point, or a perfect flavor that isn't too much or too little and keeps you always wanting more. The main way that companies manage to keep that flavorful bliss point is by adding one specific ingredient, sugar. And they add it to all sorts of foods you might not expect. White bread, salad dressing, ketchup, barbecue sauce, orange juice, granola bars, and spaghetti sauce, just to name a few. Every year, people become more and more aware how bad ingredients like sugar, salt, and fat can be when you have too much of it. As a result, junk food companies have tried to use less of the bad ingredients people are looking out for and replace them with other bad but not quite as bad options to make up for the taste. That lets junk food companies sell their snacks as low sugar or low sodium, making people think that they might be choosing a healthier option. So is junk food actually bad for you? Well, if you're eating lots of it every day, yes it is. And remember, if a delicious, salty, or sugary snack sells itself as low salt or low sugar, that doesn't mean it's healthy. And now you know that junk food really is bad for you, no matter how good it tastes. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.